Hello my dears, this is Sarah from SheHoldsDearly.com and today I wanna to answer a question that I get a lot. It is about how to hide a TV in your decorating. I'm gonna give you my 10 best ways. Yes. I agree that this is a common eyesore in decorating, especially when you're trying to do vintage decorating. And now we we did make huge strides when we got when we got into the flat screen TV look. That helped a lot, but people still are trying to figure out how to make this not stand out in their decorating, how to how to not let it compete with the beautiful things they're trying to do in the room. And a lot of times it becomes an issue with a spouse even because they really want it to be center stage and the other person wants it to be minimized. A lot of times it gets put up above the mantle, which isn't necessarily attractive next to a mantle. So it's one of those things along with things like baby gates and dog beds and air conditioners, things that have to be in there, but you just struggle to make it all feel like it's connecting. Now there are two camps really when it comes to the best ways to deal with this and I'm going to talk about, I'm going to give you five ideas from each of these two camps. So one of them is that you hide it, you cover it right? And the other camp says, if you can't beat them, join them. We're just going to work with this thing and incorporate it as seamlessly as we can into our decorating. So we'll talk about that as well. And as I present each of these ideas, just think about which one works with what you've already got going on in your space, what your, what your skill level is with DIY, and just what you are comfortable with just in your daily flow with life, like what you want to deal with. You know, you don't want to maybe be moving a piece of artwork that's just too much trouble so think about all of those things as i go through th these ideas and hopefully by the end you've got a solution that you're really excited about all right number one i'm just going to start with the most common solution that people think of when they think of let's make the tv go away and that is to put it into an armoire and that's what we have done in our living room we got this craigslist armoire and ended up just painting it white with rust-oleum chalk paint this is where we currently have our tv and i like it because it has storage i like it because i like the piece of furniture so I'm fine with it at this point. I think this is a great solution. Mine has a very cottagey farmhouse-y look to it, but you can also go to the other end. Like I, I love this look like in an office specifically. This high-end sort of walnut-looking TV entertainment center. I just love this one from Brie Purposed. So she had the she had the idea in her head and she ended up going to a cabinet maker and having the doors made and the the actual sh shelving units made. And you could like if you were awesome at DIY, you could make this happen for yourself, but she ended up having it made and then just delivered after that. And so she and her husband finished you can and I'll link the blog post below but they ended up dealing with all of the finishing part of it and the assembling and adding the hardware and it just turned out stunning so this is a great solution if you're wanting like a full wall expanse and something especially like more modern and more masculine I just love this piece number two would be to use a wall map and you can get these on Etsy. I'll link a couple below. Or you could, the other thing that I really liked was the botanical prints. So you could get, I, I'm a huge fan of the Cavallini look, uh, if you're familiar with that paper line. So I was really drawn to the, the butterflies and the different plant life and things that would look really beautiful as a pull down piece as well. And they do come with a shelf, that, and there's different finishes you can choose from for your shelf. So then you can decorate that. You pull down the map. My Actually, one of my best friends has this in her living room, and she was generous enough to let us peek into her home and see how it works. A lot of the wall maps that you buy, the shelf is made with reclaimed wood, so that's super perfect for vintage decorating. You can do the world map. You could do like a map of Paris. You could have a lot of fun with the pull down map idea.
Number three would be to have sliding doors come over your TV. And you could do, of course, like the beloved barn door look would be beautiful, but you could really simplify it and just do like two cabinet doors. My friend Sarah Joy did this on her blog. She had just two cute doors. You have, you have to get the right dimensions, of course. And then it looks like she just had hooks or um, eye hooks, huge eye hooks, and had a pipe fitting that looks like a curtain rod and she put that up there and then she just slides the doors over super cute solution really a beginner DIY project I would say so that's an idea number four which would kind of be like a merge of the armoire and the sliding door would be to actually get a wall cabinet and Ballard Designs sells these it's just a night it almost looks like a nice big medicine cabinet or something for lack of a better description but you put your TV in there and you close these bifold doors over it and there's some beautiful options out there for that and my last idea for actually hiding the piece remember those are the two camps we're talking about my last idea number five is and this might be my favorite one right now to cover it with bifold art so in this example here, there's the painting that works like a door, it closes up, and then there's this beautiful canvas print. But what I really love about what this designer did is they added a true art lamp over the top of this art, and it is art, right, but it's multi-purpose. I think that when you add in a, an overhead light like that, you make it even more convincing, and you just make it feel more seamless for this wall hanging that's supposed to look like a piece of art, if you add in a lamp, it's gonna be even more believable. All right, let's move on to the second set of ideas, which is just run with it, just work with this TV, it's not so bad. Number six would be to layer from behind. So in this example, this gal took driftwood, or you could use reclaimed wood that has been connected from the back, and she stuck it up like a big piece of art and then she put the TV on front of that and I really like it and I feel like it helps incorporate it into all of the decorating that's going on around this TV. You also could do this with shiplap. So if you are, have your mantle and you wanna shiplap the top section of that wall, especially if it sticks out and it's just this plain sheetrocked piece, you could shiplap that, be very beautiful, stick your TV on top of that. It does help it all blend together. So that's an idea. Number seven would be to back your TV with a very dark wall, especially if you were gonna put in some board and batten or something beautiful like Jenna Sue does that in this picture here. And using the black wall and especially with some architectural detailing what that does is help to neutralize that big black hole effect that is going on when you have a rectangle that's black on the wall so i love how that looks again i especially love that i feel like it has a masculine sort of modern feel to it so that might work in your space also i noticed that they don't show a lot of Joanna Gaines's TVs because again they're kind of eyesores but when she does have them she doesn't apologize for them she just just keeps it super simple and just sticks it straight on the wall this is from the Morrow house that she did in one of her episodes I believe it's now a bed and breakfast but anyway just stick it on the wall it is what it is don't show the cords just make it as simple as possible that is an option Number eight, ooh, this is one of my favorites too. It is this, have you seen the Samsung TVs out? They're called the frame. And you can pick your frame, there you can, it can be metal, it can be wood. They're super thin, like a piece of art on the wall. So it, I don't know how they do it, but you, it, it just blends in if you have a gallery wall or if you stick this up above a mantle or something, it's supposed to look like a piece of art and you actually can adjust the lighting, the backlighting on this TV screen so that it calms way down and it doesn't look like it's, it's digital or anything. There's a hundred different pieces of art that you get to pick from to showcase, so it can match all types of decorations. You can put your family photos on there 
and it, and I it's not like it's actually changing I suppose you could probably do that but it's just there permanently whenever you're not watching TV love that idea I have some friends who have that Samsung flat screen and they rave about it. They're still pretty expensive. I think they're between two and three thousand dollars. But I expect that as time goes on, that's going to come down. There's gonna, they're going to have more knockoff versions of this. I just saw that LG now has one, so maybe their price is a little bit better. But I think we're going to see more and more of that going on in the decorating world, where people are bringing in the frame type TVs that look like true pieces of art. Now a part B to my number eight would be if you want to do a, an inexpensive sort of knockoff version to the Samsung TV, it would be to find a canvas large enough, a canvas art piece painting that's large enough that, that will cover your TV and I would just add a couple L brackets on that on either side and then just hang that on the TV. Now maybe that's too much of a hassle every time you want to watch TV and I understand that but that would look very good if you feel like you can handle the taking it off and on every time. Ikea has some really big pieces of art that would work for this. All right, and number nine would be the gallery wall look, which I love. I think there's one key thing that I would keep in mind if, you're, if you are gonna have a gallery wall, and that would be to use pieces of art around your TV that have black in them. So you're not just decorating around the TV, you are actually trying to pretend like the TV is part of the of the gallery wall. And you always want some connecting pieces going on when you have a gallery wall. So I would use whatever you want around, but I would incorporate some black just to make it all, all blend a little bit better. I also love the look of a of an antique buffet to set that TV on and put some books around, candles, something like that. I think that can look very soft and finished and you can be really happy with that look as well. This example here is from Garvin and Company and they do have the really beautiful buffet. You can find these on Craigslist for a couple hundred bucks and they've done a really good job of incorporating black around the TV. All right, and number 10 is kind of a cheater one. It's actually not one where we're gonna have it out in the open. It's just to get a projector. You don't have anything really. I mean, you're gonna need a blank wall at least, right? But you just, you don't really have anything that's out all the time. You just pull out your projector and create your TV screen when you need to do that. So that's number 10. Hopefully some of these, or even just one of these, will be a great solution in your house and you can continue down the path of getting your house more the way you want it. So before you head out, I do have a little ebook that I want to share with you. It's my farmhouse source guide. You can get the link in the description below. It's a 20 page guide for all my favorite farmhouse decorating and my favorite places to shop for the different pieces that you need when you're decorating. Thanks so much for watching. I love it when you guys comment and give me your thoughts. Add on to this list if you can. I would love to learn more. I'm always wanting to glean more from the design community and I love your ideas. Thank you again for stopping by. If you're new here, please consider hitting that subscribe button. I do post regularly and I share my DIY design advice and our vintage farm life. All right, take care and I will talk to you soon.